what's going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of better call saul last episode was the season finale of season four today's episode is a season opener of season five now many of you told me that the seasons get better as time goes on and they kind of have you know season one was definitely the intro it was still good season two um I forgot what happened. Honestly, I think season two was probably the slowest. I don't remember what happened. What happened in season two the most? Season three, Chuck. Season four, Saul Goodman coming into his own. And uh, now we're at season five. Okay, we got the character set up. We got Lalo. We got Mike. You know, unfortunately, Mike had to, of mice and men. Our guy uh, uh, Vernon Ziegler, I believe that's his name. And uh, it sucks, but what did he expect? I can't believe a fucking physicist, math mathematician, scientist couldn't figure out that he would die if he escaped, you know, the job. Uh, uh, you know, if he, if he wanted to take his own vacay off of a, a, a kingpin like Gus Fring. I can't believe he didn't think he was going to die. But he did. It, it, it happened, you know. But I understand where he's coming from. You know, he hasn't been away for his wife for that long of a time. And he, they, they seem very much in love. You know what I'm saying? And he's been away for like a year and who knows when this project's gonna be finished they've been fucking slow you know so i don't blame him but then again he made the wrong decision and then mike was the one that had to um nip it in the bud so it is what it is man um and of course we got fucking um jimmy looks like he's getting his law license back but he's officially putting it under the saul goodman name <laughs> so is this it is this how he turns into saul goodman now, I ain't gonna lie, last episode was a bit bittersweet because, sure, we love Saul Goodman. We know him in Breaking Bad. He's he's charismatic. He's a great guy. He's a great dude. But um, the way it seems like he's getting there is kind of uh, just insincere. <laughs> and I hate to use that word because that's the word they used against him. But it's true. He is... Uh, we, we Him and Chuck clearly had a brother-brother relationship, you know? And even though the end of it, what didn't end out very well, and things were said that maybe maybe should have not been said from Chuck's side or Jimmy's side, sure. But for the majority of that, before it went down, before she hit the fan, they were brothers. They looked out for each other. They loved each other. They sang songs to each other. They read books to each other. So what the fuck? You can't just forget that. And that's what Jimmy's doing right now. So we still haven't seen it, but I feel like eventually it'll come where he'll actually pour his heart out. And we thought that was last episode because it sounded very genuine. Uh, I mean, we saw it twice in the fucking interview to get his law license back. We thought he was going to mention Chuck, but he didn't. And then in the trial, when he did mention Chuck, it was it seemed very genuine and very honest. And I think it still was, but maybe he's acting like it wasn't. So... Uh, I'm with Kim here a little bit. You know, she's looking at Jimmy like, are you serious? You don't feel anything for Chuck? Um, so she must be thinking to herself, like maybe Jimmy's like, because Jimmy is looking like kind of a dickhead right now, using all that Chuck heartstring type shit to get his law license back and to not even use the McGill name. He looks like a dick. And uh, I don't think Kim likes that very much. So let's see what she how she confronts him with it. Um, but looks like, hey, nonetheless, Saul Goodman has been officially born, I think. So let's go ahead and jump into this next episode. Season opener of the fifth season, episode one. Uh, before we do though, before we jump into the episode, guys, make sure I look at the links down below. All right, if you guys want early access to these reactions, you can go ahead and click that join button down below, uh, become a member of the Wolfpack. If you uh, want full reactions, you can hit up my Patreon. If you want to check out my live streams on my Twitch channel, give that a follow. I uh, I be gaming, I be chilling, I be doing I be doing some random shit, reacting to stuff that you guys request on Discord, a bunch of stuff, man. Watch parties, movies. Um, it's very fun, it's very chill, it's a very laid back vibe. So when y'all can come check out my live um, on my Twitch, uh, Monday through Fridays at five, you know, starts five to six p.m. PST. It's just a few hours of just laid back chill time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and if you guys don't have a Twitch or don't want to watch Twitch, you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel, uh, where I pretty much put my Twitch highlights on that channel for you guys to watch. And uh, of course, last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server as well. Go ahead and click that shit and come join our little community. Other than that, let's go get into it, man. This is Better Call Saul, Season 5, Episode 1. Make sure I like and subscribe. Yeah. 
This is current day. Mm. So it looks like he's still got a little bit of stuff hiding. Maybe purely for the thrill of it. You know what I'm saying? I know who you are. You know who you are. Let's just get past that. Okay. Don't worry about him. He's cool. <laughs> he just, just wanted to come along. Hey, you know who I had in my cab once? Sammy Hagar. <laughs> He's even more famous than you. This seems very sus. Why is that guy just standing there hella awkward in the back? They'll find me no matter where I'm at. Never more than five minutes away. Oh, man. It's great to meet you. It's an honor. I'll see you. Jane. <laughs> I don't know if that was bad acting or just the guy was just supposed to be acting like he was creepy. It could just be both. <laughs> uh, How are you? I got made. You got made? Official involvement? No, not yet. Pickup is going to be in the same place you were dropped off. Do you remember where that is? Yeah, I do. Damn. How far is Nebraska from Albuquerque? Omaha. Must be pretty damn far. But I mean, I mean, Walt was definitely nationwide news, worldwide news even, probably, huh? And Saul was a part of that crew, so. I imagine his infamacy is not as big, but pretty damn big. I've changed my mind. Change your mind? Yeah. To be clear, you are not going forward with this. I'm gonna fix it myself. Oh shit, what does that mean? He's gonna kill those two dudes off? What? <laughs> no way. Okay. Like every other season opener, we, we open up the season with Saul in the future. It is, in fact, the way. I mean, he eventually did get caught up, but I'm sure he went... He had a lot of fun. <laughs> and I'm all for fun. I am all for fun. Hey, if you want like, I, I definitely have you rather have one year of fun than ten years of... Meh. If this is how you're really feeling... It is. I say sure. Great. Five minutes max. And again, Kim's down with it. She's a real one. But eventually, she might get fed up. It's looking like she's getting fed up. These. These are okay. But these. <coughs> this shit's not ours, man. Oh, shit. Gus has been giving them faulty bricks. Sounds like something Gus would do. You know, we can't be giving him all our coke or whatever the fuck that is shit is. Yeah, well, Jimmy loves it. And don't worry, I'm using it. If uh, anybody says anything, I'll just say JMM is my motto. Your motto? Yeah. Justice matters most. There you go. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice cover. I like that. For added sweetener, limited time only, um, non-violent felonies, 50% off. You know, it's like uh, commit four felonies, you get the fifth one free. And there'll be friends and family too, so you can share them around. Really? Definitely sounds like Jimmy is throwing away his morals finally after, uh, with Saul. Kim, I can't go back to being Jimmy McGill. <sighs> Jimmy McGill, the lawyer, is always going to be Chuck McGill's loser brother. I'm done with that. That name is burned. Fair enough. This is a fresh start. This is how I move forward. And I like it. Fair enough. If he likes it, he likes it. Do what you like. Do what you love. Fuck it, dude. It seems a little fucked up. From the outside looking in but you know his choice his life
Did I keep you waiting? I was admiring Gustavo's establishment. I do respect Lalo's, um, how he's fearless. He rolls up anywhere, dolo, with the squad, doesn't matter. And he's fully confident in himself. I do like that. Your product went to your organization. And for that, I must apologize. Sincerely. Lalo knows he's fucking lying. <laughs> to conceal his activities. Your man, Michael, is that right? Yes. That's not him, is it? It is. I'd love to say hello if that's permitted. Oh, God. Well, certainly. Oh, God. It's about to be a fiery interaction. <laughs> What a pleasure. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. <laughs> that right? Oh, yes. I'm gonna get back to it. Thank you, Michael. Tension. Damn, bro. I can already tell Lalo scheming, Gus scheming, Mike scheming in that room. She. Caso cerrado. Tú confías en Frink. Nunca será uno de los nuestros, pero gana dinero. Con tal de que traiga lana, el adiós está contento. Eso es todo lo que importa. To be fair, Lalo is right. Frink eventually did get his revenge on all of them. Juan, Don Eladio, Hector. You know, well, actually, no, Hector got <laughs> Hector got Gus. That's that's the that's the funny thing. I never understood hydraulics. They kind of just seem stupid. Why would you want your car to go like that? Like I understand spinners more than hydraulics. At least spinners actually look kind of cool. Hydraulics are just like. What? He's in blue. Say hello to my little friend. See right there? Circled in red. Pre-programmed. Ready to go. Number one on the speed dial goes directly to me. You press that, and poof, I'm there. Next! Why call the cell phone guy? Because I'm not just a cell phone guy. I'm the lawyer who's going to fight for you. So this is how it starts, huh? This is how he starts becoming Saul Goodman, the crooked lawyer. The lawyer for criminals and outsiders and wrongdoers and whatnot. Cool. He starts in a fucking, in an actual tent. <laughs> That's a pretty uh, cool rags to riches kind of story. Off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's for you. 50% off. Yeah, all right. Now we got some takers. There you are. 50% off. Remember, 50% off. All right. <laughs> Very good. Oh, yeah. Do your thing, Jimmy. Hustle. Get your name out there. If you were going to die, you'd be dead already. Now step out of the truck. We got things to do. I thought they were going to kill all of them real quick, bro. Holy shit. I ain't going to lie. In a fucking desert in the middle of nowhere. It had to be done. He was a good man, but... In truth, he was... Soft. Oh, shit. Shit. It's about time Mike punched Kai. It was it was just a matter of time, honestly. Get out of here, Kai. <laughs> yeah. It was worth fifty of you. Damn. It's a real friend right there. 
I mean, he definitely was a he was a decent guy. He was just oblivious to the fucking mind of a kingpin, you know. <sighs> I would choose my next words very carefully oh. if I were you, dude. You keep your goddamn retainer. Oh, might quit. He's quitting. He doesn't want to work for Gus. And of course he doesn't want to work for Gus. He's got to fucking kill innocent dudes like Ziegler. But we know that doesn't last for long. He eventually goes back to Gus. <laughs> oh, unlucky, dude. Unlucky. That has happened to me way too many times. I had a friend. I think he was like on some cocaine or some shit. He he was shaking a vending machine for like an hour straight until he finally got some like cookies or some shit. <laughs> Would you comment on the latest development? Uh, the Graven what? People are saying you're prosecuting an innocent man. Does the DA's office have something to hide? Well, what, um... Excuse me, excuse me, please no, let me no, through. No, uh, that's my client you're talking about. And you are? I'm Saul Goodman, and Carl Gravenhorst nice is 100% Nice fucking suit, innocent. Jimmy. Bright colors, easy to see, stands out. <laughs> it's a new brand. Kind. Wow, you must be really expensive, though. Not at all. I believe every man, woman, and child <laughs> deserves speed the justice at a price they can <laughs> That guy's funny. Do you have a card? I love the guy. Not for me, for a friend. Yes, uh, and please tell your friend that uh, I make no judgments and I'm available 24 hours a day. Very nice. Very nice, Jimmy. And so it finally begins. I've been waiting since season one. How does he turn into Saul? Bobby, there are a million reasons not to go to trial. But it's up to me, right? Yes, it is, but I'm advising you not to. Odds are you would end up going away for more time, not less. And I'm talking about years of your life. But I might not. <laughs> right. I like the way he thinks. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, come on, Kim. We can do this. Lead pipe cinch. He's the client. It's his decision. What good is it going to do me to tweeve away in Los Lunas, huh? Do you think he's a jackass now? Wait till he gets back from that clown. <laughs> Jimmy, I no. If we were about his wife and kid, though. He's doing, it's too late. He's doing the bit. It's too late, Kim. He's doing the bit. Like, 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 what, like, like, cameras or, or witnesses or? I really couldn't say. We'll find out soon enough. Bobby, I'm sorry. It looks like they want to make an example out of you. <laughs> and she still used it. Because it was good. So this is wrong, right? I can't promise anything. What do we what do we even call this? I'll look into it. Sure, sure. You can do that. We'll, we'll I mean, here. is it he so Jimmy used a lie to try to get this fool to, to to accept the deal. I mean I guess it was scamming, but it's better for the guy though, it's better for the client. So like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, decent season opener. This is it, y'all. The beginning of Saul Goodman. In a fucking tent. In a fucking tent. <laughs> That's how he starts. That's pretty awesome. Um, and of course, his customers are lowly commoners and criminals and people that, you know, are maybe on the wrong side of the law. Outsiders, outcasts. You know what I mean? Um, because they do have a lot of problems that they can't get out of, you know? So Jimmy, it's, it, it, it's, it's kind of weird, you know? Because I feel like he actually is doing a good thing. Because I'm sure some of those people uh, are just, you know, trying to make a living. You know, they aren't really hurting anyone. They're just trying to eat, trying to make a little money. You know what I'm saying? And he is defending a group of people that no one else wants to defend. And in a, in a way, it's noble, you know? Um, but th th then again, it's a bunch of criminals for the most part. So it's a little weird. 
but then again the Saul Goodman situation has always been a little weird you know we root for him we like him obviously but what he's doing is technically wrong it's scamming it's lying it's it's going the extra mile you know putting making his friends become actors and whatnot and following a script um, but we can see here that Kim is slowly I don't know she, she it, it's hard to tell because she obviously is um, she doesn't want to do it too much it seems like Kim's okay with scamming once in a while you know what I mean but we know Saul does it on a fucking daily basis and Kim definitely is not the kind of person that's down with that nor she nor she is she probably down with her significant other being down for that so now that now that I think of it this could be the reason why you know they start drifting apart you know we don't see her in Breaking Bad for a reason and uh, it because Saul just becomes too much like it, legitimately Jimmy Jimmy McGill transforms into Saul it's a, a whole new dude with a whole new outlook and even more charisma which is pretty terrifying if you ask me um but yeah cool very good intro episode I'm surprised Mike quit in front of uh, Gus's face you know um but we all know that eventually he comes back um or Gus pays him a, an insane amount of money but uh, Gus said it himself he he wants to deal with Lalo Salamanca and uh I thought he was going to give the job to Mike, but it looks like, um, I mean, listen, we've seen a trend here. Hector, I mean, sorry, Nacho teamed up with Mike to take out Tuco, sent him to jail for a few years. Nacho did it himself to take out uh, Hector. So if I were to guess on who takes down Lalo, it's probably Nacho. Also, Nacho doesn't exist in Breaking Bad, so he died technically. So maybe Lalo was the one that won that. Who knows? But uh, anyway, very good opener. This seems like it's going to be a very good season, and I'm looking very much forward to it. So anyway, that is going to be it for this reaction, though, guys. Before I end, if you guys want early access to these reactions, you can go ahead and click that join button, you know what I'm saying, and become a member of the Wolfpack. Uh, if you guys want full reactions, you can hit up my Patreon. If you want to check out my live streams on my Twitch channel, at Wolf Reacts, go, get, go ahead and give me a follow. I be gaming, I be chilling with y'all, I be watching movies, I be, react I be reacting to random YouTube videos, Reddit posts, memes, TikToks, whatever the fuck y'all want, man. It's a very fun vibe, very chill, it's very laid back. So when y'all can, come check out my live stream Monday through Fridays, starting at 5 to 6 p.m. PST every day, just like my uploads, you know what I mean? And uh, it's a fun time. Um, if you guys don't have a Twitch, though, or don't want to watch Twitch, you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel, where I pretty much put my Twitch highlights on there. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server as well. Go on and click that shit and come join our little community. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of Better Call Saul.